Brawl News. It has been quite some time since our last episode of Brawl News. You guys know I try my best to keep you guys in the loop with anything noteworthy happening inside of the community, which today we most definitely have some stuff to get into. Just a friendly reminder here, if you guys have been enjoying the videos as of recently or if you're fans of Brawl News, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. It definitely helps out way more than you guys know. So thank you guys for the continued support legends. But we are beginning today's video off over here on the official Brawl Stars Twitter page to take a look at a tweet that came out yesterday. Attention artists, the pop star M's campaign is now open. Submit your concepts by April 4th. Now we had already gone over in a recent video here on the channel some of the more significant changes that came for this Supercell made campaign, which the biggest one being you no longer need to upload 3D rendered skin concepts here. It's now available to be just 2D concepts. So of course, because of this, there are an absolute metric crap ton of skins this time around. Some of them amazing, so dang amazing. Some of them... Hey, I'm not here to pass judgment on anyone. It's pretty dang cool that it gives a lot of people the opportunity to participate in an event like this, which I am all for. Inclusion, the most important thing. But make sure to keep in the back of your mind that it does close April 4th. If you don't upload it by then, you're not going to be able to partake and potentially win this thing. But taking a look at some of them, it is looking phenomenal here. A ton of different types of artwork, concepts, bunch of different ideas. It's just really refreshing. I love seeing so many people People trying to participate in this and having fun with it, right? That's the whole point of the Supercell Make campaigns. So again, best of luck. Voting will then open on April 4th on top of that so the community can have their say in what skins they enjoy the most coming from this campaign. So make sure you guys participate in that. Voting is pretty dang important. It's one of the criteria that the Brawl Stars dev team looks at. But we all know this by now. At the end of the day, the final decision is in the hands of the Brawl Stars dev team. So if your skin gets the most upvotes by a land slide, it doesn't particularly mean that that skin is going to be the winner. It has to fit a certain theme that the Brawl Stars dev team is shooting for with this skin, which as you guys know in the video when we first discussed this campaign, typically the description or the background of these campaigns, basically how the Brawl Stars dev team is envisioning a certain skin to be implemented in the game, typically towards a certain theme that has a chance to be an update right around the corner. So the two major tells in this campaign background is the princess of pop in the 90s so maybe an update theme that is centralized around like a retro vibe or something like that or is she into k-pop maybe a more modern feel but both of them share somewhat of a similar thing and that is centralized around this idol type of update so hey you never know we might be seeing something like that for a future update right around the corner and if you guys want me to go a little bit further in detail about this just check out the video that we made about it some of the previous campaigns that came out for supercell make though it was some time ago were pretty telling as for the updates that came out in the future so the supercell make has been pretty dang accurate but moving along moving along to a nice friendly reminder to all of you guys out there as you guys know april is fastly approaching here and the month of april seems to always have pretty significant things happening in the term of wkbrl or star park developments one very very important date that i would mark on your calendar for sure is April 19th, the anniversary of the WKBRL live stream, a live stream that was live for well over 500 days, but now completely silent. And it's been silent for a very long time, and people are theorizing that if the actual live stream were to come back, the best time or one of the best times to actually come back would be on its anniversary. Every single year on April 19th, something ended up happening on the live stream after long droughts of content from it. So it's a really good theory. So I would make sure to mark it on your calendar. But another date that a lot of people were talking about around this time when people were finding some of these fun things in the brand new season 11 update, as we suggested in previous videos, this season 11 seems a little bit deeper in the ties of Star Park lore or WKBRL findings and things along those lines. But in that video where we discussed some of these fun things the community were finding, there was another date found in the left-hand side of the brand new season 11 update. Several people suggested 
that this is kind of like season 11's interpretation of the WKBRL studio or office. You have this machine over here that is really eerily similar to the WKBRL radio that's constantly spinning. And it's this like little tiny nook, right? We also have that alien DNA Morse code on the clipboard there, which we discussed in previous videos might have some importance here with Star Park lore. But the other dates that came out in discussion came from this computer where someone was playing solitaire. We have Star Kive saying here that something might be coming around the corner on April 3rd, which is of course sooner than April 19th. So wanted to bring this up seeing that I'm sure some of you guys have forgotten about this. Now again, I'm not as certain that something might come out on this date in comparison to the April 19th, seeing that we actually have some credibility behind it. But the arrangements of these cards is pretty interesting, right? We have two, two, four, three. So this might suggest that these solitaire cards are giving us a date Easter egg of 2022, 04 being April, and then three being the third, of course. So whether or not you want to mark that down on your calendar and keep your eyes open once this day does roll around the corner is completely up to you. It's on the Sunday, which, you know, normally bigger bits of information in the realm of sneak peeks and things like that tend to come out on the weekend so more eyes can see it, right? So, hey, you never know. It might be a date Easter egg for maybe like the WKBRL live stream. Maybe some significant information might be coming out that day, but I would doubt it would be update related or anything like that. I would say most of the date Easter eggs, if we do see any right now, would be related to like more lore developments with WKBRL or Star Park, right? But seeing that we're on the topic of more Star Park related things here in this video, I wanted to bring this really awesome connection up to all of you guys that is really telling as to how accurate some of the things that we've seen from Star Park, lore based Easter eggs translated to actual update content. But we have Cat Burglar Jesse here tweeting out, wait, what? The tweet got a lot of traction here inside the Brawl Stars community, but we have a picture over on the starpark.biz website that the description reads, small Star Park spaceship slash flying saucer, too small to use, doesn't do anything, don't think it works very well. So normally I wouldn't bat an eye at something like this, seeing that there's been a ton of examples of spaceships over on the starpark.biz website, the photo gallery, but seeing that it says too small to use, it would be a perfect description for a small brawler. So this would suggest that the starpark.biz website sneak peeked Eve so, so long ago. So we're over here on the starpark.biz website that has been a thing for a very very long time now. If you guys don't know the whole lore behind this, way, way back in the day when Star Park was ramping up, this website was discovered. The webmaster who runs this thing, who we have theorized to be Colette, is trying to get information out to us by collecting all this crazy Star Park memorabilia, which can be found in the photo galleries. There is a ton of different photos that are related to Star Park that has helped us immensely with theory crafting and finding out just what's happening at Star Park. So yeah, all the photos over here on the website are just prime for helping with theory crafting and has done so several times already here in the community. Some other examples, we had the buzz whistle added to the website before buzz was actually a thing, literally giving us a sneak peek of the new brawler. Huge swim trunk, some star park things, basically giving us a ton of hints for the dinosaur update that we got when we got buzz. But yeah, getting back on topic here, now that Eve is in the game, several people saw and realized that this was an Easter egg for Eve, which is one of the oldest photos here in the photo gallery. So it really goes to show or kind of makes you think what other photos might be leaking a new brawler right around the corner, right? And it's also really, really cool that it kind of gives us confirmation that most of these brawlers coming to the game as well as updates around the corner are already so long ago pre-planned. If this website has been around longer than a year, then Eve has already been a concept and thought up to be coming out at season 11 or sometime down the line that long ago. It's nuts. It really gets you excited for future Star Park developments. Hopefully we get a season two here. Cross your fingers, April 19th, it might spark it all, man. But next, distancing ourselves away from Star Park and WKBRL madness here in this video, I wanted to point out, seeing that we discussed it in a recent video here on this channel, that there are now gem offers coming out for some of these season 11 skins. I saw a lot of people disappointed saying that they purchased a ton of gems before season 
Season 11 came out and seeing that a lot of the new skins that were coming out for just flat money instead of gems, they weren't able to get it and they were nervous about skin offers coming out around the corner, but we're seeing a very first example of a Corrupt Sprout skin offer along with the Brawler for gems. So I'm hoping now that this one is coming out, we'll be seeing more examples of this in the very near future. So keep your fingers crossed. If you guys are waiting for these skins, I'm assuming they're going to be coming out a little bit more frequently here. Moving along to some other really, really hype news. Several of you guys may know that Fang is pretty dang broken here in the meta, and I've been following a particular push very religiously here, and if you guys want to do so as well, make sure to do it. It's always fun seeing these crazy, crazy milestones that people go for here. Sitting at 2,312 trophies on Fang, are you kidding me? It appears that they're doing it in 3v3 game modes. Could be wrong about that. He's got a lot of duo showdown victories, but also just an absolute metric crap ton of 3v3 victories. I've got to be on the leaderboard for something pretty high up there. This guy plays a lot of Brawl Stars. But hey, best of luck to this guy and his grind. I'm not sure what he's going for. Maybe 2,500 trophies. And if you guys want to see any of this push, make sure to let me know. I'll try to reach out to him, get some gameplay for the channel. I think that'll be fun. But next up, getting straight away into some lighthearted, good for the heart type of news here in this video. If you guys didn't know, one of our community managers, Danny's birthday was yesterday. So big, big happy birthday to Danny. Our dev team is one of the best dev teams out there. They are just so dang good with the community. We are very, very spoiled by them, I would say. So, hey, it's one day late, but if you didn't wish him a happy birthday, it might be cool to go over there and say, hey, Danny, happy late birthday, right? And then lastly, to wrap up this video here today, seeing that a lot of the content here in this episode of Brawl News was centralized around WKBRL and its return or the theories that it might return here shortly, I wanted to bring this to your attention out there. I know whenever I make these types of videos, it kind of sparks the interest of several people out there in the community to do their own theory crafting and investigating. And I've seen a lot of people bringing up YouTube channels like this, giving some cryptic videos out there. I just want to let you all know that the only thing that has been confirmed in the hands of Supercell or related to Brawl Stars lore is the WKBR live stream. And of course, that has been confirmed from in-game Easter eggs as well as literally on the description page of Brawl Stars when you download the game. It gave us a link to the WKBR live stream showcasing that it has ties with Supercell themselves. But accounts like these, which there are several of them, we have Sleepy Time with Spike, are just fan-made ones. They should shouldn't be taken seriously or anything like that. You guys don't know how badly I wish stuff like this was real, right? It would give us a lot of info, but it's just not. I've been seeing several people in the community bringing up this account and like adding me over on Twitter. Just wanted to let you all know that this is nothing, right? But yeah, everyone, that's just about it for this episode of Brawl News. A little bit more of a laxed one. One to kind of remind you all that we have some significant things right around the corner as well as other fun things people have found here inside the Brawl Stars community. I'm still floored about that Eve space ship over on the starpark.biz website. It makes me want to take a deep dive in those photos once again to see if there are any more fun connections that can be made. But yeah, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to slap a like comment. I'd really, really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun, Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Adios, and take care.